Do you ever feel like modern society is trying to make men weaker? That movie villains are now the heroes and toxic behaviors are glorified? If so, you're not crazy. There is an agenda to neuter masculinity. Welcome back to Fulton Draper. Today I want to highlight seven habits that sap men of their natural strength. Avoid these at all costs so you can become the bold, confident man you were meant to be. Let's dive in. Habit number one, ridiculing others. As men, we should never look down on or belittle others. When a crab tries to escape from a bucket, the other crabs pull it back down. If you find yourself mocking people, you are lowering yourself beneath them. Of course, this doesn't mean you can't correct someone's mistakes, but do so without resentment or cruelty. Seek to educate others, not tear them down. Confident, strong men don't ridicule or resent others. They uplift them. Mike Tyson said it best, social media has made you overly comfortable with disrespecting people and not facing consequences. So catch yourself when tempted to mock others. Be better than that petty impulse. Habit number two, failing to take responsibility. Think back to the lion who lost everything. His main mistake was losing sight of his responsibilities. As a lion, his responsibility was to fully embrace his nature, claws, fangs, and all, but he abandoned that responsibility for the farmer's daughter. Similarly, we must take pride in our responsibilities as men. They help define us. When you choose to escape responsibility, you relinquish your masculinity. As Winston Churchill said, the price of greatness is responsibility. Truly own that quote. The price of greatness is responsibility. Don't blame external factors when you fall short. Look inward first. Taking responsibility gives you dignity and strength, but shirking it makes you weak. Habit number three, avoiding failure. Many men today fear failure more than anything. They choose comfort over growth. But remember this crucial truth. Growth often springs from failure's ashes. Imagine a man digging for diamonds. He doesn't know how deep he'll have to dig before striking diamonds, but he keeps digging, finding only dirt at first. After hours or days of persistence, he finally finds treasure. Adopt this mindset with business and relationships. You may face failures early on, but stick with it. With dating, for example, approaching women may be uncomfortable initially, but you grow from those moments and get better. The same with business. Early mistakes teach you the ropes. Embrace failure on the road to success. From childhood, we're taught to feel ashamed of failures and mistakes. We're conditioned to blame external factors, saying it's not my fault. But these thoughts lead to defeat. To quote Mike Tyson again, a weak man blames his defeats on others' strength. Own your setbacks and persist. Habit number four, submitting to petty laws. A coward blindly follows the crowd and petty rules, even when he knows they're wrong. But a bold man analyzes the situation first. Nowadays, we're told judging anything is wrong. Complete obedience is expected. But following just because others do leads to disaster. Of course, breaking rules isn't inherently good either. But first analyze if a rule aligns with your purpose and values. Does it contradict a higher calling? Don't be a puppet. Make decisions consciously. Many men today are afraid to say no, whether in work or relationships. They obey out of fear of rocking the boat. But standing up respectfully for what's right makes you strong. Habit number five, poor body language. Body language hugely impacts how others see you. Weak body language literally screams walk all over me, while confident posture commands respect. Specifically, be aware of habits like slouching, avoiding eye contact, nervous fidgeting, crossing your arms defensively, and occupying less physical space. These all telegraph weakness and self-doubt. Instead, make a conscious effort to straighten your spine, make steady eye contact, claim your space, and move deliberately. Keep your chest open and your limbs relaxed rather than closed off. Find your deepest, most resonant vocal tone. Project strength and assurance through your physical presence. Align your outer demeanor with your inner power. Let the real, confident you shine through. You've likely been conditioned that strong, masculine body language is somehow toxic nowadays. Ignore such foolishness. Your posture and bearing will either attract or repel the quality of life you desire. So walk, talk, stand and sit like the bold, purpose-driven man you were meant to be. Do not surrender the space around you. Claim it and fill it. This small change produces huge ripple effects in all areas of life. Trust me on that, brothers. Habit number six, wasting your 20s and 30s. 
Your 20s and 30s are the prime golden years to build yourself into the strongest version of a man. Don't fritter away this precious time living aimlessly. Imagine a wise farmer planting seeds in spring. He knows crops don't sprout overnight, so he diligently prepares the soil, selects the best seeds, then plants with care. Through proper nurturing, those seeds eventually grow into a bountiful harvest. Similarly, plant seeds in your 20s and 30s for future growth. Challenge yourself constantly across all areas, physical, mental, spiritual, relational, and financial. Construct your best self brick by brick. This doesn't mean non-stop grind, but take smart risks while you have abundant energy. Step outside your comfort zone, learn new skills, build meaningful connections, start new projects, travel to broaden your perspectives. Yes, you may miss out on some fleeting youthful pleasures or instant gratification, but the wise man plays the long game. Constructing your best self now pays exponential dividends later. Delayed gratification leads to fulfillment. As King Solomon wisely said, rejoice, young man, in your youth, but know that for all these things, God will bring you to judgment. Don't squander your vitality on empty pursuits. Invest in yourself prudently. Seize your 20s and 30s, brothers. These decades forge the man. With courage and vision, you can construct a life of purpose, success, and impact. Stay focused on your highest aims. The strength you build now will serve you for decades to come. Habit number seven, laziness and lack of productivity. Laziness is one of the top pitfalls for men today. We all have great ideas and intentions, but failing to act on them ruins potential. Take control of your days. When do you sleep and wake? How do you spend your time? Who do you spend it with? What content do you consume? If you allow laziness in, it spreads like a virus. Nip it quickly. Laziness thrives on weak men. But men of strength recognize it and promptly course correct when necessary. Be aware of lazy patterns creeping in so you can eliminate them. Seize each day with focus and purpose. My brothers, the deck is stacked against men today. Weakness and passivity are glorified, but we must reconnect to our innate power and strength. Avoid these seven destructive habits outlined here, ridiculing others, shirking responsibility, fearing failure, blind conformity, poor body language, wasted youth, and laziness. Embrace your responsibilities, persist through setbacks, stand tall, carefully craft your days, challenge yourself relentlessly. This is the path to becoming the bold, purpose-driven man you were meant to be. With vigilance and courage, you will build a life of greater meaning, success, and impact. Now get out there and claim it. And are you willing to do the difficult work required to become your strongest self? Will you take responsibility today to walk the path of courage? The choice is yours, but I know you have the inner strength to break free of weakness and unlock your true confidence. If this video provided value, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. More wisdom nuggets are coming to help you master your mindset and life.